Good morning, so I just got up for work. I'm catching up on vlogs. I'm trying to make some breakfast, but every day and time I go in the fridge, I can't find the butter. It took me like 10 minutes this morning to find the butter. I have to go in the fridge, I can't find it. I have to shut the door, then restart again right away to try to find the butter. I don't even know. And then eventually, boom, it just shows up like, duh, I've been here the whole time, you idiot. But no way, the butter's been hiding in the fridge the whole time. I also have more bad news. I have a new dozen of eggs. So the old eggs that had the double yolk in it, they're all but gone. So it's like 10.30 at night, and this is perfect time for Crystal to start night baking. Yes. I feel like you're nocturnal with your baking. Um, it also doesn't help that it's well over 100 degrees right now. Well, not right now, but during the day right now, so it's finally cool enough. Although I think tonight I'll probably just make the cookie dough and put it in the fridge to bake tomorrow. It's like a multi-process thing? Yeah, because this one has to be refrigerated for two to three hours. What is it you're making today? Um, this one's for Snickers filled peanut butter cookies. Like with real super Snickers, not like those snickerdoodle things that They're are like... not snickerdoodles. One time someone's like, I have snickerdoodles. I'm like, yeah, and I ate these like <laughs> sugary cookies and it's, it was a lot. Because I always called these snickerdoodles because they're like little Snickers filled cookies. But no, they're not snickerdoodles. They're peanut butter cookies with the snick bite sized Snickers inside. They're super good. They're one of my favorite things ever. They really are delicious. So we made it all the way to the baking aisle, but the only thing you've gotten so far is flour. Don't you need like anything else to go? No, I'm fully stocked with everything else. Just flour? Look at all this funfetti stuff. Do you need funfetti? I don't know. You tell me I just eat the stuff you make. I actually have some in the cupboard. You have all the stuff that it takes to make all of the I oatmeal can make you cookies? I a cake right now. Like yes. right here, right this second. Well, yeah, I'm on the baking aisle, but no, I'm home. <laughs> the stuff that I have. You have all the stuff for your oatmeal cookies and yep. your have the chocolate. The dough made for everything else. For your yes. peanut butter snicker things. Yep. And what was the thing you were making? Chocolate chip cookies and yeah. biscotti. Although I overcooked the biscotti a little bit last night. I thought it tasted pretty good. I didn't think it was bad. It had the end piece that wasn't overcooked. Oh. And then it went back in for five more minutes and overcooked it. Oh. But it's supposed to be crunchy, so it'll still be good. Do you have to make more biscotti then? No. Mm. <laughs> yeah, is it that bad to make? No. I don't want to make it again. <laughs> oh, where's the... Where's the double yolk eggs? I don't know, but I don't need 18 eggs, but it's stupid to buy a dozen because it's the same price as 18. So. Well, then buy 18 and then take six of them and throw them away. Throw them at you? Yeah, you can do that. I'd let you do that. Just make sure those are the double yolk ones, please. No. You know I've been sketching ever since that happened, and they've so far all been good. You need a flashlight to hold up to the eggs so you can see inside to see what's going on. <laughs> can I do that? Is that an option? Do you need to sit there like Waltas and clerks and spin them on the ground to make sure they're okay? I might. I might develop that complex. I'll drop my eggs. Okay. Alright, so Crystal's been live baking now for a couple hours. That's what it looks like. Or that's so the camera. A couple hours? I don't even know what time it is. It's 3.50. It's Why'd you make four. me start drinking? <laughs> you made yourself start I'm drinking. I'm drunk baking and who knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> right? So, she made some biscotti or biscotti. What is it called? Biscotti. I don't know. All I know is it's like someone took a bunch of toast and put a bunch of like cream on it. <laughs> then over here... Oh, it's like it is a delicious snack. This, Although it is a little overcooked. Then she made a bunch of uh, Snicker cookies that are full of the Snicker pieces like we talked about. And then we ran out of Snickers at some point. So then Crystal decided to put some Rolos in the cookie. Some of them have Rolos in them, but those ones didn't really survive very well. I think I just didn't close them up well enough on the side. What else is there in the cookies besides Rolos? Um, these these nine have Rolo. These six have Snickers, although one of them is, al is an almond one, and I don't know which one, so good luck. So it's mystery baking. What is next for you on your baking list? Chocolate chip cookies. I have cookie dough in there. I need to start that, but I think they have to go on the big cookie sheet because they're big cookies. What about drink-wise? Are you making yourself another drink? It can't be drunk kitchen cooking without baking without drinking. I don't. You see, you can't even say it. You haven't even really. What do you have to be in? That's because I'm hot. I can't do anything. It's hot. It's debilitating. Is it? Yeah. I don't think I should have a second drink just yet. I'm already slurring my words and struggling and forgetting to set timers, so I should probably wait a little bit. I think. If you guys want to watch all the madness and all the stuff that's happened over the last couple hours, you can look at our last video where it was live baking time. Baking time. It's kind of like baking, but different. It was live baking time. We usually go live, I don't know, lately we've been doing live streams every Sunday. So if you're ever around on those days, you should catch it. We'll try to do a better job in the future on telling people when we're gonna live stream. 
you know, so obviously more people will want to come and watch. But so far, it's been a lot of fun. Oh, oh, I made a mess. All right, so another hour later, and Crystal's almost out of control here with her baking. I'm making a mess. What else are you making? How do I fix this? It might be oatmeal cookies. We'll see how it turns out. What's your problem right now? Lack of coordination and general spatial awareness. Doo doo. Doo doo? <laughs> doo to. Doo to one and a half drinks. <laughs> You're a lightweight. Oh my gosh. I should stop. Stop like uh, what, like life. I just... <laughs> Oh, oh man, this is everywhere. this is this is fun. This is this has been everywhere. one fun day. <laughs> you should only you should only start baking it after one and a half days from now on. Is that what should happen? It's never gonna turn out well. So how's the cookie making coming? Forever. You're on to frosting the last batch of oatmeal cookies. Yes. The only thing you have left to do is make chocolate what? chip cookies. Yeah, and then you're all done banana baking. Banana bread's not happening tonight. No? I'm no tired. banana bread tonight? I am so dead. What about the box of pasta you said you needed to make? I'll have a sandwich for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> you look like you're wearing thin, girl. I am. I'm getting tired. I've been standing here in front of this stove for hours. Hours? Like, well, you're going on six hours now. It's exhausting. We'll enjoy your frosting of your cookies. Of your oatmeal gooey cookies. I always like the little balls that drip down underneath. You like the little balls? Yeah, and after a while you can like move them, and then because they're kind of halfway hard, so you can kind of move them around and eat them. Tastes like love. That's what you hang around for? Yeah. Does that mean you found hair in it? No. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I told you guys or not why we were making all these snacks. It's because Jess and Jamie, gone to the snow dogs, I know you know them because most of you are here because of them. <laughs> are sending us a box of goodies and we have a big huge box i can't show you what's in there but i assure you it's heavy full of goodies to send to them and then we're going to do some sort of crossover video of swapping wait of unboxing <laughs> what's in the boxes and i also have a box here to send to our friend joel in washington yes in washington full of snacks and goods and stuff too i don't actually have his address because his box comes tomorrow you can, you'll have, to, you'll have to ask him. So be on the lookout, maybe next weekend or so or something, by the time the box gets there and we make videos, edit, and all that good behind the scenes magic stuff, of a big unboxing video of a box about that size from Jess and Jamie and all the crazy stuff they sent us. I wonder what it is. I wonder what kind of UP stuff they sent us. Yes, yes, Mooch. What, the camera's on your face now? <laughs> Say something. One, two, three, be funny. Say something. Dang. Merch. Nope. Deliberately he talks to me. <laughs> deliberate stone cold face for me in the camera. Look, Crystal made me dinner and it's the tiniest cheeseburgers <laughs> in the history of cheeseburgers. I even think the Krabby Patties from SpongeBob are bigger than that. They're not cheeseburgers, they're chicken burgers, and there's no cheese on them, and it's not real chicken. Wow. So basically, <laughs> you've just negated nine out of ten words I just got done saying. They're still tiny. <laughs> they are very, very tiny. Hopefully, they're really good. Maybe you were supposed to just they add are. water and they were supposed to like absorb when we get bigger. Aww. Or maybe it was like Back to the Future 2 where they took that little tiny pizza and put it in the microwave oven and it came out all extra large. They're sliders. That's how they're supposed to be. And they're really good. They're Guardian brand, so they actually have flavor to the chicken patty instead of just being chicken mush like some other vegetarian brands which shall remain nameless. Sliders is just a fancy word for saying, hey man, I'm gonna get away with making you tiny burgers. I do appreciate it. It's just oh, humorous. I think the idea is like I can make you them several different ways. It's just humorous how, the same. how small they are. So you can put one in each hand and then... <laughs> they make me look like I had big hands and I'm pretty <laughs> sure that you won't let me get away with eating like that If either. you stay in the kitchen you can. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I can't believe you eat these little things and not like you're not irritated. Don't you hate like tiny things? No. Oh that was my last one. Only people. <laughs> Only time. Okay that's right. Sorry guys. <laughs> I don't hate them. I'm just... They give me panic attacks. We'll leave it at that. All right, another day, another vlog. The bakeables are all baked, the packages are all packed, and it's time for us to get to bed. So everybody have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Say bye. Bye.